Rautu, Energy 23 World Championship, Episode 10. The Rank 1 Rewards of the Qualifier. Two Ultimate Choice Packs, three Ultimate Packs, three Jumbo Elite Players Packs. Oh my god! Guess what? We also have World Champions Top 50 Rewards, 17 and 1. Obviously, I was focusing on the World Championship Qualifiers. I tried very late Sunday night to play rest of the games, but then when I lost the game, decided to just call it quits. We still get an Ultimate Pack, Mega Players Pack, 8 World Champions Collectibles. So many packs! This is just crazy! <laughs> All tradable as well. Uh, let's start from right to left. The next stage of the World Championships is played in a week and a half. I have all kinds of rewards. I love my team already, but obviously if we pull something huge here, we can upgrade it even more. For example, I have zero team builders yet, and I have zero of those fantasy hockey cards, 99 overall cards. Those would really put me like over the edge team-wise. Not many people can have them. Like, it, they're so impossible to get. Every card costs like 2 million. Okay, first pack. Nah, nothing. Every card card is still valuable. Okay, we have an ultimate pack next. <laughs> this episode will be nuts. <laughs> the pack opening lovers will love it. 94 Nubel right away! Bang! 93 speed, 188 CM. Finish. <laughs> Gold shutdown, 99 shooting, 99 defensive awareness. Like, surprisingly good card. Right off the gate, dude. Hyped, baby. Come on. Tanev with the face again. <laughs> you know it's a good pack opening when Tanev pops in. Uh, 87 Monter. Uh, at least it's an 87. 86 Esterkin. Uh, higher up players cost a lot. Because people use those for sets. But yeah, I would want something more. Another 86 overall? Another chest deck. <laughs> okay, we have two ultimate choice packs and three ultimate packs remain. Ultimate packs first. Final item. Oh my god. First ultimate pack, we got absolutely nothing. For the second ultimate, let's just keep it. Oi! That's nothing, right? If you look at the dots. Yeah. Oh my god. We got Numbina, but after that, it's been, it's been quiet. Still three ultimate packs to go. We only need like one or two big pulls, and that would be it. Two items remain. Oh my god. Three ultimate packs in a row. Did we, like 85 overall was probably our best pull. Crazy. Okay. Do the ultimate choice packs save us. Select a total of 15 players over 5 rounds, at least 8 overall better. These usually are pretty huge. I have a bad feeling about this pack. Well, lady, second round. Round 3. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, last two rounds. These are usually... The higher of our cards, right? Skip? No. <laughs> oh my god! Final round, 87 Sergatsev. Okay, another purple, 86 Bloom. Okay, better, better, better. Maybe one more purple! Okay, two purples. After Numinen, let's be quiet. You would think we could be able to pull something better than that Numinen from all of these ultimate packs. Only one plus 90 overall. Like, damn. Still one more. One shot, one opportunity. Come on, give me something first round. 85, okay. So, this is what I want. Usually round one, I'm telling you. High, high level cards or card round one, usually it's a good sign for the rest of the pack. Round two. There we go! Light the tunnel with the face! <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I have a good... Last pack, I didn't have a good feeling. Now I have a feeling. It's not done yet on the tunnel. Round three, really terrible. Round four. Okay, the big round is still remaining. Come on, baby. Final round of our back opening. Come on, come on, purple. Oh my God. Where's the purples? What? what? That's it. Donev, you didn't bring us any more luck? Okay, we got 94 Numinen. It could be worse, obviously, but how many packs we actually had? Numinen is only worth 200k. Interesting, his stats look better than that, but... Okay, it is what it is. 
I think I will sell all of the players I got again, just to get the maximum amount of coins. We already have 800,000 coins by selling Lemio and Poolin in the last episode, so yeah. Let's just maximize our coins and use it for something huge. Here we are, Friday morning. Some stuff has happened. I have 900k still in my account, and my team is set somewhat. Let me show you. So first line, still the same. Second line, I had the 94 pool it. I switched it to the 95 because she's so cheap. Look at these stats. She costs around 170, 60k with every stat plus 95 with 99 phases. She is small, but she has silver unstoppable for. She's been great so far. If you see in the bottom right, she has seven goals in four games, actually. I just bought this 95 Cairo for 400k. I almost bought him for close to 500 yesterday. Decided not to, decided to wait maybe for a new event or something. But today I saw him for 400 and I had to buy him. Look at these stats. Hat category 99, shooting category 99, skating category 96 or above in everything. Like, oh my god, what a card for 400k. Third line, probably the line I trust the most after my first line to be on the ice. Because I just know how every single one of these players play. Yeah, fourth line, same as it was in the, in the goal of fire. Defensive wise, everything else is the same. But I've just magically gotten trade deadline collectibles in my collection. Because of the trade deadline objectives. I have Manta and Jones in my team. Which gets me objectives every time I play. So from those objectives, I've got the collectibles. And I got Lindholm with those collectibles up to a 91 just for free so the qualifier games continue next week the first knockout games i think uh, if nothing else at least with coins i will get lindholm 194 so yeah this is the team i will play the whole champs with like i said the next part of world championships are next weekend i don't know exactly how to improve my team from here what players to buy new event is coming today i hope it's team for the season so yeah let me know in the comments what would you improve with this team 900k right now and uh, more rewards coming next week What a goal. Ooh. What a play. Good. 